Hello, church family. Man, we are really missing all of you. But I am especially missing my balloon buddies. Mr. Witt is looking forward to blowing up a ton of balloons once we can all be together at church. And I'm gonna hang on to these at home just to remind myself of all the wonderful and beautiful children we have in our congregation. Seriously, we miss all of you so much. It has been difficult at best to be away from our church family and we've been praying for you and hoping that you're making the most of the opportunity to be with your family and even to take some alone time with your heavenly father to spend time in the word. The ministers and elders will be reaching out with a short video of encouragement each week until this passes to remind you that we are with you and we are praying for you and to hopefully inspire you to reach out and touch someone else's life with a message of hope or a call or a note. Debbie and I have been walking almost daily in our neighborhood and the change has been amazing. We're seeing families out in their front yard playing catch, playing games together. We've seen more families taking walks and enjoying God's creation. I've witnessed families getting their lawn chairs out and sitting with neighbors and visiting. The one thing I haven't seen is very many faces stuck to screens, you know? Maybe God just wanted us to slow down a bit, to use an old but fitting phrase, to stop and smell the roses. In a walk last night, I recorded a video, which Debbie put on Facebook, so check it out, of the frogs in our neighborhood pond singing to one another, and I believe they were also singing to their creator. It was a mini symphony of beauty. You know, most weeks, I would not have t taken time to take that walk. Maybe we needed this pause to remember to be still and know that God is God. Maybe we have a tendency to quarantine God in our busy lives. Now he has given us opportunity to take pause to reflect on what is really important. Yet I know some of you are alone during this time and it has been extremely difficult to endure that loneliness. But I want to remind you that because you are a child of God, you are never alone. Even in your weakest moments, God is with you. He is a never leaving and never forsaking us, God. And even though we can't be together right now, know that in spirit, we're with you. And if you're lonely and you need to talk, call us. We're keeping our phones with us so that we can minister to one another, even in these circumstances. You know, if you know someone that's alone at church, reach out with a call or a text to remind your brother or sister in Christ that they're not alone. Our longing to be with you reminds me of Paul's desire to see his brothers and sisters in Christ in Rome. He writes to them in Romans chapter one, to all are in Rome who are loved by God and called to be his holy people, grace and peace to you from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you because your faith is being reported all over the world. God whom I serve in my spirit in preaching this gospel of his son is my witness how I constantly remember you in my prayers at all times. And I pray that now at last, by God's will, the way may be open for me to come to you. I long to see you so that I may impart to you some spiritual gift to make you strong. That is, that you and I may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith. If I were writing this letter to the church in Leander, I'd say it this way. To all in Leander who are loved by God and called to be his holy people, grace and peace to you from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you because your faith is being reported all over our community, our county, our state, and even in the world. God, whom I serve in my spirit in sharing and living the gospel of his son is my witness how I constantly remember you in my prayers at all times. And I pray that now at last by God's will that the way may be open for us to be together. I long to see you that I may impart to you some spiritual gift to encourage you and to make you strong. That is that you and I may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith as we have endured this pandemic. Debbie and I look forward to the day we can celebrate with you. We can celebrate our faith together so that we can mutually encourage one another. And I'm so looking forward to seeing the faces and smiles of children as I blow up balloons for them. You know, the reason I'm the balloon man at church is I want the children to know that when we come together, we have something to celebrate. We celebrate a risen and living Savior who has removed our sin as far as the East is from the West and who is preparing an amazing place for us in heaven where we have front row seats to embrace the glory of God. So until we can celebrate together, 
My brothers and sisters, stay close to the Lord. He is close to you. And give thanks in all things because you can do all things through him who gives you strength. Debbie and I love you. And may the Lord bless you and keep you.